Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I greatly appreciate you being here. Also, side note, if you're new here, no, I don't actually always look this, you know. Mm. I just recently had eye surgery, so that explains the bustedness, crustedness, and lack of makeup. But don't fret, because even though it has been quite the long, drawn-out journey, I feel like this is coming to a slow end, but nonetheless an end, and I'll be back to the makeup game in no time. But with that being said, since I can't do makeup or beauty related videos like my channel is typically about, that's leading me to do other things. And um, if you guys watched my last video, then um, toward the end I told you guys that my boyfriend and I will be going to um, an NFL game coming up. And um, I also mentioned that I have never been to a professional football game ever in my life. I have been to a professional baseball game, but not a professional football game. And it got me to thinking, hmm, there are a lot of things that your lame self have not done at your ripe old age of 24, like, and a lot of common things, like things that most people have done. So then I was like, well, why don't I compile a list and share it with you guys? I thought it'd be a fun little video just to do. Um, I did search YouTube to see if anybody else has done this, and, uh, there were a few people. Mostly it was a lot of like famous people doing these, uh, but they actually shown themselves doing the things that they have never done. But as far as just regular schmegular people doing this type of video, there were a few, but not as many as I would think. So I was like, why don't I do it? I mean, you know, can't do anything else like makeup, so why not? So yeah, without going on a rambling rampage like we all know I can do, let's just go ahead and get started. So I have a list here on my phone. Um, I was going through and just thinking of everything and I came up with a list of 40, okay? And by the way, there are way more than this, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna cap it off here because that's, that's quite a lot. So to kick things off, I figured I'd go ahead and start by saying I've never been to an NFL game <laughs> yet, although I will be going in a couple days. Skydiving. Will I ever? I don't know. I go back and forth with myself. Sometimes I'm like, yes, I'd really love to do that. It'd be scary as crap, but you know, it's one of those bucket list things. Then other times I'm like, yeah, it's a no for me, dog. So who knows? Number three, and some of you may find this really, really sad because I do too, but I have never been to a concert. Not one, not any artist, nothing. Mm -mm. But I'm hoping that all that will change come 2019 because um, the Backstreet Boys released a world tour and I have to be in that crowd. I have to go to this concert. There's just no way around. I have to go to this concert. It is my mission to make it happen. I hope. Number four, I've never ice skated, never smoked cigarettes, never even tried them. Number six, I've never gotten a professional massage and I mean like from a spa. Of course I've gotten a massage from uh, my partner and stuff but to go in and get an actual deep tissue massage from a real masseuse <laughs> never had it done unfortunately. Number seven never broken a bone. Another thing that I hope and pray that I keep a thing. Number eight scuba dived. Um, again it's one of those things that I think will be so freaking cool to do but will I? I don't know because the ocean scares me. Um, it just all the creatures and scary monsters and sharks that are in there I just don't know if I ever could really do it. Number nine I've never been outside of the United States. Number ten I've never gone paintballing. Don't know if I plan to either because it looks very painful. Number eleven I've never ridden a horse never why I don't know because I have always wanted to but I've just never I guess the opportunity has never came about for me so I just haven't number 12 I've never thrown up while drunk and let me tell you I've been quite tipsy in my you know day by the way I am old enough to drink so any of you youngins out there don't 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 do it but yeah I've never thrown up while drinking I have though I have blacked out and let me tell you that's not fun I've done it twice in my life after the first time I said I'm never doing that again but then it happened again luckily though both times I was at home number 13 I've never been suspended from school I was a good girl in school I cared about my grades I graduated with honors I was I was one of those 
14 bungee jumped another one of those things that I'm not quite sure if it will ever happen sounds great and fun and good and fresh in theory but when you really sit down and think about it mm, it's a no for me dog so <laughs> number 15 I have never in my life worn weave of any kind and I don't know why. I mean, yes, I'm mixed, so I just have the natural curly hair, but sometimes this gets to where it's a lot and I don't wanna deal with it. And so why have I never done any kind of protective styles with weave before? I don't know. I don't know. I've always wanted to try it though, so maybe, Maybe that's something else that I will have to try soon. I like some faux locks maybe. I think, would, would that look good on me? I don't know. Not like this, but when I had like my makeup done and stuff, I just need to quit being scared and just give it a try because it might, might change my life. Um, and give me a break from dealing with this all the time because honey, natural hair is a lot. It's extremely high maintenance, so. Number 16, I've never been on a cruise. I know. <sighs> just keep getting lamer and lamer, right? <laughs> 17 never been in a fight just I'm not one of those people I'm non-confrontational I don't like to argue I'm not about drama so I'm not gonna put myself around people that are about drama so I've never been in a position to where um, a fight could have been a thing or even like a severe argument just never uh, number 18 um, I know I did mention earlier that I've never been outside the United States but um, for the next one, I'm going to go ahead and say that I've never even been to the West Coast at all. Obviously, I live in Georgia, so the furthest west, it's not even west, I, I feel like this state is still considered the East Coast, but anyway, the farthest west from Georgia that I've been is Missouri. But again, one day I hope to change that. Actually, a lot of these things on this list, one day I hope to change, clearly. Number 19, I've never gone to prom. I don't, I just never really wanted to I know that's crazy because it's like that's one of those big high school things um, but I just never did number 20 I have never ever ever eaten at Chipotle mm, I know all of basic America shun me now I know I've never had it number 21 I've never broken a phone screen I know <laughs> knock on wood because God forbid we don't need that to happen but um, I'm just very clumsy um, I'm always dropping my phone and I have two kids so my phone stays in an otter box I have an otter box um, it's been in the same otter box since I got this phone my last phone was in an otter box like I don't play like I don't have time I know myself and I also know I'm not gonna be able to just go run and get a new phone if it does break so <laughs> otter box me boo number 22 I've never had a bloody nose number 23 I've never gone kayaking would love to try it one day number 24 I've never TP'd or egged someone's house which that's a good thing I guess because that's very rude and disrespectful and nowadays I don't think that's like a thing you know back in our day that was a big prank you could do on people TP or egg people's houses or play ding dong ditch or something like that but nowadays kids don't really do that they're more consumed in their phones so I'm 25 I've never gone hunting um, and I honestly don't plan to I just I can't do it I've gone fishing but never hunting I just can't see myself an innocent deer I just can't I automatically think of Bambi I, I I just can't do it can't do it nope won't do it number 26 I have never watched Lord of the Rings none of them not a single one number 27 I've never gone to Disney World Disney World Disneyland Universal Studios none of them never look I'm so lame y'all like, I have not done anything Somebody come into my life and show me some, some life experiences because apparently I... <laughs> Number 28, I've never swam with dolphins. Number 29, I've never gone to a club. To any kind of um, nightclub at all, not a strip club, anything. Uh, I've just never been the type to be... I'm so introverted and I'm a homebody. I got to be at home. Like, I don't got to be out partying. I've just never been that type of person. I don't like being around like a large groups of people. So I'm just like, not saying I wouldn't go, but I just haven't. Number 30, I've never won the lottery. Clearly. But then again, Bria, you can't win if you don't play. And I know I'm not the only one. You know how we are like, dang, I wish I could win the lottery. Yet, meanwhile, you never play. Hardly ever buy a scratch off either. Yeah. I know we can relate that's that, that's got to change number 31 I've never solved a Rubik's Cube I also haven't played with one in such a long time Maybe I should try again as adult and see see if I can figure it out 
Number 32, never been to jail. Another one of those things that I plan to keep a thing. Which also brings me to number 33. I've never gotten a ticket, a driving ticket of any kind. <laughs> Knock on wood. Again, another thing I plan to keep a thing because mm -mm, I don't break the law, okay? At least I, not knowingly. I know, I'm a good girl. Moving on, number 34. I've never gone to a water park. Of course, I've been to public pools and um, pools that have like slides and stuff like that, but an actual pool on um, water park, like, with white waters or raging waters or anything like that, never gone to it. Number 35. Whew, y'all don't hit me now. I've never watched a single episode of Game of Thrones. Y'all calm down, calm down. It's not that deep, sis. It's not that deep. Never have. However, something in my body is telling me to watch it, aka <coughs> Jason Momoa. Mm. Um, yeah. Number 36, never ran a 5K or any kind of marathon for that matter. But I really hope to one day do that. Number 37, I've never learned how to drive a stick shift or a manual transmission. I know people call it different things. So yeah, never learned how to drive one. I would like to know how to drive one. But as far as like my main car that I would own and drive, it's going to be automatic anyways. Because look, I have too much going on. Like, I don't need... I need to just put my car in drive and be able to go and worry about the gas and the brake. That's enough for me. I don't have time to be worrying about a gas, brake, a clutch, and constantly changing gears. Like, no. <laughs> Number 38. I've never snuck out as a kid. Never done it. And I don't even think I've ever even thought about it. Because, like, why? Number 39. I've never had a professional facial. Again, going back to the whole spa experience with the massage also never had an actual facial the closest i've gotten to a facial is when i do an at-home facial mask on myself you know the ones i can get from walmart or ulta somewhere one day i'd love to just lay back on the table and let the esthetician do the work oh i would love that anyways number 40 the last one i have never been in a wedding i've been married so i've um, and I've also been to uh, a wedding, but I've never like been in one, like been a bridesmaid, like been a part of the bridal party. I've never, never done that. Look, some of my friends are cousins. I'm gonna need y'all to get married, okay? Because I wanna be a bridesmaid. But yeah, that is it. Again, there were so many others that just didn't make the cut and I'm like, wow. But I know I'm not the only one out there. Um, I'm sure a lot of you that are even watching this video now probably haven't done a lot of these things. But it also puts things into perspective and being like, wow, like life is short. So you need to really um, cherish it and make the most out of it. So I need to get on the ball of knocking some of these things off of that list. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I had a lot of fun with this. It was just something um, quick and easy and fun that I could do. Uh, and also, it gives you guys an insight on my life and things that I have done and, and haven't done so you can kind of get to know a little bit about me um, even more. If you're watching this right now, I, I challenge you to do this. Even if like you're not a YouTuber and you don't like film this and put it up even if you just sit down on yourself and write things out that you've never done so you can so it can be like a little bucket list type of thing you can be like you know what i've never done this and i want to do this one day you know before my time is up so i gotta make that happen whether it happens next week or whether it happens next month or next year or five years from now one day before my life is up i want to be able to cross that um off off my list so i really challenge you guys out there to to make Make one of these lists. Like I said, even if you don't post it, even if you don't tell anybody about it, just make it for yourself, you know, and your own personal goals. Um, yeah. But aside from that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. I also want to thank you guys for being patient, I guess, with me um, in this um, healing journey of mine. With that being said, if you have any ideas or suggestions of things that you would want to see me film while I'm still healing and can't do makeup and beauty videos, then um, let me know down below. I'd love to know. I have a few ideas, but it would also be nice to have your guys' input as well. And yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. Hope you guys enjoyed this little fun little video. If you did, of course, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you in the next one.